Welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name is Greg. Today I'm doing some repairs to our furnace in our RV. I've narrowed it down and I believe I have diagnosed it to the control board. So I went ahead and ordered an aftermarket control board for this unit, which is a Dinosaur Fan 50 Plus. So uh, real quick, I'm just going to open this thing up, show you what it comes with, and then after that, I'm going to jump back to the other video and I'm going to finish getting this installed. So, if you're looking at this and you haven't watched the diagnostics and repair of the furnace, right up here is a link. So, first and foremost, number one, this is made in the USA. It is actually made out of Oregon. So, inside the box, we are going to have a set of instructions on installation. We've got us a warranty card. And since this board can be used on several different models and makes of furnaces. Uh, backwards compatibility, they do uh, give you a couple wires just in case you need to convert from an older style to the newer one. I don't need those wires. Uh, of course, it is packed in foam, which is nice. Now here is the board right here. Bring you a close up of it. We are fused out. On this board, we do have two spade connectors. One is for the blower, one is for power. Then we also have our connector. Now I say this is compatible with multiple different uh, furnaces. So as you see, there is different pinouts that you plug into in it. Now I've used their dinosaur uh, board for our water heater and I'm very happy with it. And that's one reason I went ahead and bought this one. So, if you want to see me doing the install and diagnostics on my RV furnace, go ahead. Again, like I said, I'll have a link in the description below. And you saw the link earlier above uh, to get to that video. That's it. Real quick video. Just showing you what uh, came inside the box. What I get with uh, the Dinosaur Fan 50+. Plus. Till next time, have a great day.